Mm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> um, I'm underneath one of the most incredible part rock outcrops in the southeast. Well, technically we're in southeast. We're in West Sussex to be precise. Come a little bit closer, my friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> come here. This is due to natural erosion. This is called Big Upon Little or Great Upon Little. Numerous amounts of names that we call this. You'll find them out in the description. And this is due to natural erosion. And we can sit underneath it. How amazing is that? Now, what there is, the reason for that is because over time, getting a muddy bum, over time with a muddy bum, around here, the lay of the land has suggested that the water has come through, funneled through, and naturally eroded this rock. Some stream breeze in it, split it around. All the way around, look. And so what you've got is in essence a tiny bit of stone layered upon a bigger bit. So the weight ratio is ridiculous. Um, you could if you wanted to, you could jump from that to that if you're feeling really brave apparently. I personally wouldn't. I think there's a difference between being brave and being stupid. Um, <laughs> Because if you screw that one up, well then, that's it, isn't it? Game over, mate. There's loads and loads of graffiti. Jimmy's going to walk you around properly in a minute. But what's brilliant about it is in the summertime, which we clearly are not in at the moment, <laughs> <laughs> you can sit underneath it, and well, which I've done already, but without getting muddy and wet, you can do that, and then loads of people take photos of it. Um, in fact, I've just seen 1952 bit of graffiti, which is incredible. Um, and yeah, loads. But this to me, yeah, look, yeah. a little bit of a gully, right? Um, anyway, so this to me just is just so incredible. Like, it, to me, it's one of my all time, all time bucket list sort of places to go because some people are like, oh god, why that? You know, when we go through like when we do like World War II bunkers, etc., etc., they're they're kind of cool and they're, they're a lot of fun. There's a lot of history to them, but things like this, I mean, views like this, places like this, you don't get them that often. <laughs> you know, or they're hard to find, should we say? There's obviously Tunbridge Wells, um, at Rust Hall. There's similar stuff. There's the Stonewall Park shelters that I've done, the rock shelters, which, as you saw in that video, blew my mind. But this for me is probably the pinnacle of the southeast's best sort of rock outcrops because there's caves, there's rock shelters. This is early man, okay? So he would have been using these areas to literally hide in, use for shelter. There's been flints that have been found here, so we know that they've been using it. And then behind you, there's the forest and the valleys. And what's even cooler is much like Oldbury Hill Fort in near Seven Oaks, is that this is built upon a fort. So this would have been Phil Potts Fort. So again, used, recycled, and then used again. And this is just natural. So you've got a natural form of shelter, which to me just defies anything. And all right, yeah, there's execution is rock, Again, that name in like encompasses tourism. There's a height of tourism around here in the 17th century. But to me, you can forget about your bunkers, you can forget about your shelters and everything else. Places like this are just incredible because nature did this. We didn't, nature did this. You know, and it's so nice to sort of see. It's so nice to sort of look at and to watch i've never been here before so again i was i was just as much mind blown i sort of knew the rough topography of what i was going to be checking out when when you say a natural rock outcrop it's basically what it what it is you know in america actually you'll find a lot of these in more frequent areas but obviously in england where we are that there's not as many definitely no nowhere near as many and yet we know that there's been habitation around here. So I feel like, I feel like, you know, on a bit of a rant, but this is why I'm so excited and so privileged. So you can sit underneath that, you saw it in the intro. Um, actually, Jimmy, go on. 
we'll swap over. We'll swap over. Do you want to just have a sit down, mate? Yeah, I don't think people really appreciate how much rock that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's um, let's just stand back a little bit. It's, it's sitting on something which is like, yeah, <laughs> well, it's two, three foot wide, yeah, by six foot long. It, there's barely anything of it, is there, really? No. And people, there's photos of people that you can see Jimmy like in perspective. Yeah. If I stand back a little bit and hopefully not, hopefully not stack it. <laughs> yeah, look, you can see actually, to be fair, mate, when you stand back and you see yeah. your face, you'll see it like that is, you're so small <laughs> compared to that. It is massive bit of rock. And that's why it's so special. So yeah. Um, Shall I just give that to you, and then you can just film it just round? That's cool, mate. Cheers. I'm just feel my hand. <laughs> Jim's going to take you round so you get a really good idea. It is. If you stab back, yeah, like you said, <laughs> it's a big, big, bit, big bit of rock. It's hard, isn't it? Because it's hard to put it in perspective in the camera of like how big that is compared to that. Yeah, look, if I'm, actually, if I do what Jimmy did, look, if I'm underneath you, you stand back, mate. Yeah. Like, well, you just stand up normally next to it, Dan, oh, yeah. and you're, what, like, five, six yeah. foot nearly? Yeah, nearly six foot, yeah. So that's five times, six times the height of you. Crazy, isn't it? On something that is five foot wide, six foot long, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. That's about eight foot, I reckon. Yeah, about that. Size, but it's very narrow. So, and just because of natural erosion, to me, like I said, this is this is the most incredible thing because this is nature at its best. And the fact that we know that there was early man. Look at that. Look, didn't even see that. Nice bit of graffiti. It's all over the stones and everything. You know, it's Gary and Ellen. Oh. oh. <laughs> Huh. So yeah, this is the rock outcrop. It's, it's hard to gauge it. I mean, you can probably get a better idea around there, you know. And then, a, and then, like, you know, yeah, I'm still blown away by it. To be fair, it's mad. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is a big upon little rock. It's to me. I can now tick off and say I've done, but we were talking in the car, weren't we, that I probably will return mm. with Jimmy possibly again, maybe in the summertime, get a different perspective on it, because it is just a, well, it's just special, isn't it? You know, you can't, it's rare to find these places at the best of times, but something as special as that, that you normally will see in America, this is it, it's here, you can come to it, you can check it out. All right, so we'll see you later. Take care, everybody.